Let me use a spoon this round. <laughs> wow, look at how fatty it is. Oh, this round, super fatty. I bought it from the wet market this morning. Uh, actually, uh, two morning ago. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. You are looking at uh, three pieces of very fatty and very fresh ikan kembu. Indian mackerel, my personal favorite fish. I love the flavor. Now, uh, it is very special, especially after it is fried, yeah? Deep fried. Now, um, I, what I did was I made few slits on both sides of the fish and marinated with a little bit of fine salt on top. Then we are going to prepare the um, oil and deep fry it. I'm going to show you how uh, we won't be, we don't, your fish will not be stick to the wok. So first of all, we're going to start with by giving a bit more oil here. Now, if you are using a standard steel wok, then you need to actually add oil into cold wok first. Then only you raise the heat. And you do have to put a bit more oil. But of course, today I'm, you, I'm going to uh, deep fry. I'm using um, vegetable oil. Next thing, you need to heat up until the oil started to smoke, which is what we normally call smoking point. Usually, we are referring to approximately 180 degrees Celsius. Now, to avoid the fish, um, the oil from splattering late, later, use a kitchen towel to wipe dry, yeah, wipe away the excessive uh, liquid, so that it will not simply uh, splatter too much it will still splatter but not as much some people will actually coat it with a thin layer of flour then only they will go and deep fry it that will also help to reduce the oil splattering usually i prefer to do it without the flour because of the flavor not so much of anything else all right not sure if you can see the smoke coming out from the oil now we can carefully put in the ikan gumbong Do not worry about the fish getting chow ta. Fish will not get chow ta so easily if you compare with other kind of meat. So the next thing after you put the fish into uh, the wok is don't move it. Don't flip it too early. Let it stay for a while. Allow the skin at the bottom to char before you flip it over. So that will probably take you about a minute or two. So you may want to do a bit of uh, measuring the time that's one of the reasons why i like using the electric stove because it always have a timer so i always use the timer to measure the time now besides um, some people coat it with a bit of cornstarch or, or flour some can also choose to coat it with one thin layer of egg yolk it will also do the same purpose it will coat the fish first when after you will you put it into the hot oil, the, the egg will actually get cooked faster than the fish so that it will form a very thin layer to protect your fish. Now it's approximately close to two minutes. A little bit stick. Let me use a spatula. Yeah. To right. Move it a little bit first. Flip it over. Look at the beautiful color. Beautiful char. So this one, going to flip it over. The good thing about using a stainless steel wall is that you can use a steel spatula. Look at how beautiful it is. Whoa. Sometimes I will just use a spoon. I'm using a 
Some people want ask Appa, Appa, why is it you use a spoon? Do you, don't you feel hot? Um, take note, I'm using an electric stove. If I'm using a fire stove, then it will be too hot. Um, that, and one of the main reasons why I use an electric stove is because it's not hot. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. So we will give this side another a minute to two. Then it is almost done. That's how simple to fry a fish without letting the fish to stick at the bottom of your wok. And some more, I'm using stainless steel wok, which is super, super easy to stick. So this is after another a minute plus to two minutes on the, the other side. Now I'm going to flip it the last round. Let me use a spoon this round. <laughs> wow, look at how fatty it is. Oh, this round, super fatty. I bought it from the wet market this morning. Uh, actually, uh, two morning ago. Wow, look at how beautiful it is. Don't use a spoon if you are if you feel worried or scared. You just use a long spatula. Well, we'll give this side another th um, thirty seconds, and it's basically done. See how simple it is to fry fish. A lot of my followers still tell Appa that um, they are very scared of uh, deep frying fish because when they deep fry fish, their fish will become fishes. <laughs> One fish becomes three, four fishes. They break. All right, it's basically done. So I'm just going to get prepare a uh, oil absorbing paper and put the fish on top. That's it. So we shall uh, put the fish to the side and allow the oil to render out. Then we can push on top of the oil absorbing paper. Look at how beautiful it is. Wow. Now, if you want to make your deep fried fish easier, you the easiest is to use a non-stick wok. Yeah? But the thing is, non-stick wok cannot sustain high temperature and therefore your fish will your fish will not end up as char and it's golden as golden color as what when you are compared to when you are using a steel wok or, or a standard steel wok like this. This kind of color you can't achieve using non-stick all right so i'm going to make a chili party with a light soya sauce and eat together with this i'll probably add a bit of calamansi as well i hope you like my very simple video today if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking up our facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking up bye bye